your daily out with me. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's the program. We're on TV once again. Once a day, we're doing different missions. We start talking. For now, we're. Crackling. Cr uh, Something's crackling. Yeah, it's it's my mic uh, cord on my mic. I can just uh -oh. so out maybe a little bit. Uh, let's try two. Two, two is better than one. <laughs> Remember when we we'll, we'll, uh, did some sort of program on, uh, on your daily hour with me when I was using two microphones? Maybe nobody it. else remembers. I don't, I don't remember that. I remember. A anyway, welcome to it. Today is Wednesday. It is. I had to think about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're here on the couch again. It's me and Carl. Hi, Carl. Uh, como esta? Uh, muy bien. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, you got me. I, I, honestly, I don't know what I say when I say <laughs> anything at all. Whether it be English, Spanish, French, German, Australian, uh huh, Olympian. Yeah. How how are you doing today? Um, I'm doing all right. I'm doing really good, I think. Is there a chance that you're not doing really good, or? What well, I I'm I'm not so sure if this is like a God shot or whatever, you, you know, like a shot from God, like you what? can like step up to another level of consciousness or existence uh, or financial existence but what? my um, my situation with with uh, AT&T uh, it's been uh, a five year contract that you know sometimes I, I wasn't able to pay a bill like on time and so I, I wasn't able to use a phone for like um, uh, maybe like half an hour or oh, no. an hour and a half or whatever. You're so attached to that phone too. Well, like, the, I, I'm, I'm, certainly I'm not attached to it like some people that have been on the program have been. The, the, but, uh, well, yeah, sure. And that's true, but um, I uh, uh, have uh, uh, decided upon myself to kind of uh, terminate re my relationship with AT and T and go with another carrier. Oh yeah. That doesn't that offers unlimited data. AT and T offers limited data, and uh, sometimes my phone bill could be like. I'm not exaggerating. One hundred seventy-five dollars. What a month. Yeah, uh, sometimes a month, yeah. What? And it's, uh, people would say, Carl, you shouldn't use, you, you know, you should only use the phone, like on, on, um, on, uh, uh, Wi-Fi access, yes. you know, like at Starbucks or whatever. Yeah, only but, use the phone at Starbucks. But, you know, I, I'm just tired. I, I, I want, I want, you know... Like everyone else in this modern age, I want the modern convenience of what is offered. I don't. Or, or, or suggested. Oh. I don't even have a cell phone. Uh, I want people to leave me alone. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, for those that do. Oh, what? Oh. Um, well, for those that do want, want, want to be somehow connected to some sort of like uh, communication infrastructure uh, you know to get uh, phone calls and whatever so anyway I'm taking myself up to uh, Tacoma tomorrow because tomorrow is payday and I have enough to pay for a phone you're gonna buy a new phone yes but don't you already have like three um uh, one. Uh, Can't you just use your old phone with your new carrier? Well, I I I guess I could, but yeah, uh, the the uh, phone is just kind of decrepit and outdated, and there's mothballs growing out well, of what it. What number and, is it? it like oh, uh, I think I uh, so uh, yeah. Um, I had this number. 
this number that you know some people in the internet know and you can shout at the tv screen about that number uh, uh. and it's like yeah that that number right there um but um uh the this number i had since before 2008 i i remember working at goodwill and i was uh there was like a uh, the presidential election and this uh, supervisor I, I've talked about before on the program, he had this Welsh accent and you know, you know he wanted to have some sort of communication with me during my off times in, in case he wanted me to come on in on, on my off day and, and to move my um, weekend around um, in a, uh, a heartbeat. But um, so anyway, my number I've had since 2008, and then I got um, and went to the Apple Store on uh, July 3rd, 2010, I believe, and got myself on an AT&T plan. And I've been on it for like five years, but you know I'm I'm tired. I, w I would rather want to have an. Uh, unlimited data plan at eighty dollars a month or whatever. So mm -hmm. uh, th that's what uh, T-Mobile offers. And yep. I I don't know if I can get uh, onto T-Mobile, but uh, this this phone that I have currently is is a um, uh, just like uh, uh, th this decrepit phone so i you cut your contract is done then huh i well yeah i i'm i'm gonna become myself a free agent Woohoo! so yeah i'm a free agent as of tomorrow well how long are you gonna go without a phone i know you oh no no i'm not so i'm not gonna be without a phone i i'm gonna you know have them port my phone number over to this other phone uh tomorrow All so right, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna have like maybe a free agent status or whatever I'm gonna um, uh, yeah tomorrow is gonna be kind of busy in a number of different ways the uh, police shooting kind of a report pro from this prosecuting person no oh, did you read it uh, I, I read enough of it before I was like you gotta um, read all of it you're uh, so into it if you didn't read it all then you're missing out because i know you love you are you you're into it so much i'm i'm always missing out that's that's the status of my life yeah but if you're in if you're i mean you this is something i got you the gist ignore. if you if you don't read the whole thing then you can't be up, up in arms about it anymore <laughs> I, i'm that's sorry not that, that i, I mean, you're not gonna have a response you're just gonna Say no, that's not. Uh, no, that's what I mean. What do you? Well, you I, raspberry noise is that? No, that's, is that's what your response to that is. No, I, I, I would, thing or you can't be complaining about it. I, I was just teasing that. I was like on. The, the, I, I for a split second, I thought I was on this like uh, giant rocking chair, and I was Lily Tomlin or whatever, and had this. Uh, I'm, I'm missing the reference. Raggedy and or Andy uh, outfit on. Uh, but mm -hmm. really, what? no, I'm not, not on the rocking chair. Who's Lily Tomlin? I don't know any. Well, uh, so uh, she uh, m might have done these clips for maybe um, uh, Sesame Street or whatever, and she was uh, she was in this mock get-up um, giant, you know, rocking chair where you know you could. It, it was really old time, old fashioned rocking chair, and, and it, it was like that. She was a doll, but Lily Tomlin was speaking, was just acting, I guess, as a doll. But you know, I think she went, you know, into the uh, like um, a couple of times or whatever, just to be funny. So I'm, uh -huh. I'm, I'm trying to borrow jokes. I, I'm I'm getting low on my game, so step up. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm I'm uh, going to be at downtown and reading. Uh, n no, not reading. Well, you uh, have protesting. Today and tomorrow to read the rest of that thing because you oh, shouldn't be protesting God. unless you've read that. Help. Read that thing. It's I think it's gonna be more important than protesting, really. Uh. Okay, maybe I'll I'll read it, but I read it. You can't be protesting a thing that you didn't even read. You don't even know what you're protesting. 
Well, what are you, a scholar now? No. Are, are you like a professor, professor of English? Read the thing. Oh, uh, okay. Read it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, right. It's now War and Peace. I'll, 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 you know, ca- carve my brain into it, and I'll see what happens. I m- might even get more pissed off, so thank you, Kenny. Yeah, well, read it. I mean, you have to, yeah, it's supposed to... Enlighten me. Enlighten, yeah. Um, see uh, anything on the streets there? Uh, I just came uh, here from City Hall, so... Um, oh, yeah, you went to the, uh, the City Council meeting? Uh, no, the, the uh, city council meeting was yesterday, but I can't even remember what I was... Th- oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I saw my therapist, and I went to CRC and whatnot yesterday. Um, but, you know, I, I didn't go to City Hall because I'm, I'm kind of in, in preparation for or something that may or may not happen you know people are are upset and whatnot and you know want to you know throw rocks and whatever else you know i i certainly got um a series of mp3s that i put into a single mp3 file and these are songs uh, on on hymns on on uh, when I went down to Portland, I uh, I had the good sense to Google a lyric or two, and that led me to a web page where there were more of these lyrics, and um, yeah, like uh, John Lennon's "Imagine," you know, it's like, boo, that's too hokey, you, you know, but you know, at some point we're gonna like not have be quite so attached to possessions, I guess. And no possessions? Yeah. No religion? Yeah. <laughs> what did you do at City Hall today? Uh, was, so I, I just basically stood at the uh, at the corner and whatnot. But How you held your I'm Carl one, look at me sign? Or? No, no. Oh. I, I, I didn't carry that down downtown with me. You know, it was like, okay, well, I can leave my place maybe uh, an hour earlier than I need to be uh, leaving. Uh, so I, I stood there at City Hall for like half an hour mm-hmm. with, with my um, phone shut off. But, you know, I mean, it's it's all good. Well, what are you doing at City Hall, though? Just standing there? You just standing there. There, there was like a, a collection of people and... We we got like honks and whatnot. Well, what were those people doing? I mean, were you were you holding a sign or what were you doing at the city? Well, so I was holding the sign, oh, but it wasn't you? the sign that I was. Um, what sign was uh, it? Made. It was handmade in the spur of the moment. It said like, no prosecution. Uh, I guess no. Well, uh, it would probably be better explained now that I put it in the hot seat. But no prosecution against. Um, Officer Ryan Donald, then no peace. He, you know, he, you know, it's like Black Lives Matter, and uh, so I, I think that it's really important. He's not getting prosecuted. No, I, I think it's really important if people are like so upset about this that they would rather channel their anger into like um, a song of Imagine or whatever. And so it went through though. I didn't hear about this. The prosecution thing. So what's the prosecution? What is the, there's a prosecutor that released a statement, but he's not being prosecuted? Yeah, it, uh, the, the charges are not going against the officer, but they're going against the two unarmed shoplifters instead. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, how do I know that the men weren't shot in the back? How oh, yeah, do I, but there's a whole, I mean, there's a whole other, like, set of laws for the police, right? It's not like you can't, like, they don't get prosecuted in the normal way. It's like a whole whole other whole other system well yeah so that's why uh, police oversight would kind of solve those kind of yeah. instances and and so See, uh, but you, you can't ask for, the, for that guy to get prosecuted it's it's not really relevant he's not gonna get prosecuted because he's not in that he's not in the same on the, like he was on the job and so it's more of a it's a different whole different story right but so for like, the officers that are on the job like maybe 
three or five years in the future, certainly if we put in place of a, uh, of a, uh, a legacy, like a legacy in terms of Martin Luther King, then more people will start to see that, you know, police accountability can be a good idea. Um, yeah, uh, you well, know, if know we're if not building using Martin Luther King's name because you don't know what he would stand for in this situation. I really. I well, listened to, to uh, Tavis Molly, you know, give a, a reading of of the, the last year of Martin Luther King alive, and it's really kind of enormous, you know, gratifying gr gratifyingly depressing that you know er, everyone you had to be using... for either for the. Of uh, Vietnam you, War, you, you shouldn't be or using the memory of, you, of, of Dr. King for your uh, for your own agenda. My own? No, it's not my own agenda. It's well, the agenda it of of human beings as a whole. No, if, it's not. It's your agenda. It's not the everybody. It's not every the, all of humanity's agenda. It's your agenda, and it's you and you. No, maybe it's some not my agree. agenda. Maybe it's you and some other people's agenda. If people agenda are also, able to kind of it's understand not humanity's agenda, about it's not my agenda. peace, I'm part of humanity, and so. yeah, well, right, but uh, I, you, of course, will, will um, long time know or viewers of the program would know that you know, uh, protesting. You know, what does protesting do? That's what you've said in the past but it's true uh, you can't really um, say anything bad about like Rosa Parks or Martin Luther King himself because he has a name named after himself but no yeah I'm not saying anything bad about him I'm saying that you shouldn't use his good name in in for your for your well, cause. if I'm not violent then what what's where where's worst controversy well I'm not violent either but the controversy is is that you you don't like I don't. You're, that you don't use these names. You know, let me finish. Let me finish my thought. You know, I'm breaking my thought. I'm, me a little bit. I'm saying that you're you're using his name, and you don't know what he would think necessarily. For love. For for what? For love. For love. You don't know what what his take on anything would be. He, he said that the stuff. power of when the uh, him or Jimi Hendrix both <laughs> had this. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix or John, one of those guys. <laughs> well, you can use Jimi Hendrix name. Why don't you say Jimi Hendrix was for, for this? Well, right, but Jimi Hendrix probably said when the power of, of when power, you know, uh, people understand peace. Like I'm really butchering. Uh, give me a meat cleaver and I'll butcher it some more. But yeah, um, Jimi Hendrix is on acid. Uh, <laughs> Well, maybe I should dope some too, but <laughs> yeah. can, can I, no. Yeah, really high on acid and go no. protest something. No, probably no, no, no. That's I can't do that because then I would be walking in streets when you know I I should yeah, be hit by a car. Yeah, uh, being somewhat peaceful, but uh, uh, the, there is a concept that. If we all love and trust one another and have compassion for one another, that that can be a, a better world, and and that's the legacy that I want to put in place yeah. for Olympia. You know, I, I'm not gonna, you know, that's not so that we mad. have that's a so CVS, mad. not that we have a CVS Who's gonna argue pharmacy love and, and Olympia, but even if we did, you know, we're burning that down. What is that really gonna solve? I just. What does love and peace even mean, though? And so it's that's a very vague concept. So. Well, uh, it, it, it means uh, basically, uh, if you want to sit on my lap, I'll sit on yours. Uh, or something. What? No, that's not what it means. No. I don't know. All right, all right. Hey, let's play the dice game. I just know that you know we shouldn't be beating up one another because. I agree with that one. Here we go. It's it's don't hurt people. Don't beat up people. That's bad. Well, a knife for an eye, eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. That's one thing that Martin Luther King had um, had said um, uh, apparently within the last what, he said year that? of his I, yeah and that, that's not yeah that, yeah he he had this kind of biblical stuff you know but I mean he was a Baptist pa pastor but uh, he had uh, these different lines or whatever. Uh, from the Bible and and somebody some people they they don't they can't really um, be there or you know have that kind of preach don't preach to me like that sort of thing but 
it's it's still um, well anyway I don't know I I probably should just write down the number on my hand and press buttons and see what happens yeah here we go playing the dice game it's uh, we're, Carl's getting ready to roll a number he's writing a number down his hand first uh, and then we're gonna visualize the future uh, we're trying to see if we can do it You want to see it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh, third try. Oh, there's some people walking in the darkness. Yeah, fair enough. Ah, oh, there it is. Third time. Oh, gosh. Um, A charm. I have Charming. Time. You're so charming, Carl. I think. Well, and modest. Uh, yeah. Right? Okay, so, um, oh, we, uh, this thing is not even on. How depressing, you know? Not we, 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 we uh, some people, they set up the program beforehand, but <laughs> not, not us. Those we people they set up the program, uh, they, they set up their, yeah, their shows, they, they, their own thing. The, the, they have the queued up mics and whatnot, but... Not us. Yeah, we wait for so we need to that, and then go, oh no! Uh, so I'm pausing, setting this thing up, I'm gonna take a minute. We got some messages. Well, that was a silent message. Um, here's another one. Carl setting stuff up over there. Hi, Dr. Kitty. Hey, Dan. Hi, Dr. Kitty. This is Dan. Hey, Dan. I I don't think I want you to be my I I I don't think I want I want you to be my doctor anymore. Uh, I I I don't I don't think I want you to be my doctor anymore. Uh, all your secretaries are are, are running away. <laughs> That's not my fault. Uh, 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 I, I don't know I, I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong, but. Uh, uh, my um, my nep my nephew is no longer uh, calling me. Uh, my my nephew is no longer calling me, and, and he no longer coming over to see me. And, and my niece, uh, uh, I hardly ever see her anymore. Uh, uh, he, 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 he must be. There, there must be something wrong uh, with, with you. With, with with what you with, with what you're saying because no, eh, 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 uh, I, I, I really don't want to be uh, I really don't want you to be my doctor anymore I I I I think I'm going to get a doctor. Uh, bye. <laughs> um, sure. What, what, what was the number? It was a one. I lost. Uh, so did I. I have a three. Uh, wait to know what my number is, because it usually comes on the program. I, I can't pronounce my n number right now, because it's not, or or my hand is not on screen, so the number can't be pronounced, and I don't usually say my own number anymore, so. You have a, a system? Everyone has a system now, apparently. I'm just along for the ride, bro. So it's oh good yeah so I um, I'm uh, happily going to um, have um, uh, payment of like eighty dollars a month now or, or something in theoretically I you know and, and they might have Sprint up there rather than AT and T but. Uh, or I mean uh, T-Mobile. They might have Sprint up there rather than T-Mobile, but uh, this, um, uh, I, I certainly would rather to uh, get myself to uh, um, do this rather than to kind of keep myself on 
on some sort of crazy ass plan that you know I I have to. Uh, you, this is one of the reasons why I'm, I you know sometimes I'm borrowing money from my parents for phone bill. Uh, for the uh, monthly expense living of life or whatever. So, mom and dad. Yeah. They, they didn't really come through to uh, support me, though. You know, the, some of the um, people here in town and whatnot just kind of realized that, you know, I need to uh, help myself. Yeah. Or uh, help myself with some financial push, of course. So, thanks to... The Senator mailbox Lover. belonging to... Dan Dobler. Is full and, can no longer is full and cannot accept new messages at this time. To leave a callback number, press 5. Or please try again later. Goodbye. So maybe some of you are... Oh, Lord. Some Maybe some of you people are watching right now, so... Hats off to you. Thank you. Not for nothing. Oh, gosh. Yeah, well... You know, I'm sure they've given you a lot of money in the past. And it's not going to money this, this time after so much money, past money, you know? You, yeah, you, well, you gotta go, go uh, back to the goodwill. I, right, I'm, I'm supposed to pay it forward by helping out other people. Or, or you know, once I have enough money in my bank that I help out other people, so I uh, need you kind of hold that in, in, in my mind ahead of me a little bit and, and just be mindful. Uh, hey, you've reached Freddie Dobler. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, then I will call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddie, it's the program. We're calling you. You can call us back. You have about a half hour, probably. Okay. Great. Thanks, Freddie. Thank you, Freddie. Um... Give someone, someone give Carl a dollar. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'm a little bit beyond that now. All I needed was, you know, just a little bit of financial push. And then that can uh, certainly free up um, money that I can help out other people in the, in the future. Once, you know, everything, you know, my month is all paid for and I get money at the beginning of next week and you know, have like a dental bill or whatever. Messaging system. Bam, no. Is not available. Bam. The dollar. mailbox is full and cannot Give accept any messages dollar. at this time. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> Nobody's erasing their voicemails. Or... Um, certainly uh, has been a problem with me as well. And, um... Your, your, your box is full? Yeah, I, I don't know what, what's the, I'm going to uh, keep a hold of this phone. Uh, the, the the phones that I had in the past that were like disconnected or I pulled the SIM chip out of it and whatnot. Um, uh, uh, the Apple has done something of a... a uh, a little bit of a, a, a thing where they, uh, if it doesn't have a SIM chip in it anymore, and, and requests it, you know, as your um, uh, computer, uh, your phone is being erased. So all of the phones that I had pr previously now do not work with my computer anymore because when I erased that phone, it's just going to be like. Swipe to unlock, and you know, oh, you don't have a SIM uh, card in your phone anymore. Please insert the SIM card to continue. Uh, so, um, those are, are kind of like um, relics of the past now, but. Um, what, SIM cards? No, no. My, uh, the, the various iPhone 4s that I have <laughs> lying <laughs> around at my Jeez. phone. Uh, that's well, right. I watched the news, and there's some county clerk somewhere who gives a fuck where, except for some county clerk taking it upon herself not to let 
gay people get married. She needs to get fired. Well, like and then, or something. like them people at the bakery that didn't want to uh, make a cake for gay people. Um, she also needs to pay a million dollars or a hundred thousand dollars for every person that freaking she didn't want to uh, give a license to get married to. Uh, just because she's a court clerk. So, if okay. she wants to pay $100,000 for every one of them, keep denying them, and everybody that fucking is gay and wants to get married, go over to that courthouse and ask her to give her a license, and whenever she denies you, you're going to get your $100,000 for mental anguish, distress, and uh, whatnot by the time this fucking thing's over. Especially if they got a hundred thousand dollars out of them fuckers that didn't want to make a cake for them. Alright? And that's the way it is. Hundred thousand dollars a piece. She's fucking up. She's gonna, she's losing their house probably about now. And it don't matter if she fucking believes in God. Fuck that shit. Kiss my ass. I gotta fucking go find somebody and say, hey, let's go get married and uh, go over there so I can get me my hundred fucking thousand dollars. I mean, I ain't gay, but I'll say I'm gonna be and I wanna get married just so I can get me a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Motherfucker. This against you is progressive, that's good. I mean, if you need a hundred thousand dollars, you go over there and ask to get married. God damn. Do it quick. <laughs> what if they quick, say, quick, okay, quick. when you're married? Hey, Kenny, you wanna get married? We'll go over there and get ourselves a hundred thousand dollars. Why do I have to do it? Because they'll deny us and we won't be getting married, but... Well, what if they say we'll yes, We'll get a hundred thousand dollars for them denying us. <laughs> I'm going to slip. Right? So I'm going to say fine and then That's I'm married. That's all I'm saying. Mr. Gibson. Well, let's go get denied so we can get a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, you do it. Not that we want to get married anyway, uh, but we need a hundred thousand dollars. Mikey, you can't like life so you know. Fifty thousand dollars a piece. How might you eat it? I, I think that they might slip up and be like, yeah, you're okay, well, I'm not wanting to lose that money, and then they get married, and that's why I don't want to actually move this picture first. Um, here's the next one. Mr. Gintu left several messages today. Here it is. It was in Kentucky. Holy shit. That Kentucky fucking clerk, she's not giving anybody marriage licenses, gay or straight. What a fucked up time. And then I heard the Pope is coming to fucking America. Yeah. And he's offering to forgive all the women who have had abortions. Um, he's willing to forgive them oh, and let them go to confession. Controversy. To that I say, fuck you, cocksucker. Our American women don't need your fucking forgiveness. We're all forgiven before you ever got here. <laughs> and we don't even need forgiveness, period. We just don't need you or your fucking religion. Get the fuck out of our country, cocksucker. Uh, Go back where you came political. from, stupid cunt. Getting political. And to any of the women out there that feel bad about having the abortion, well, I feel sorry for you that you had to have an abortion. Getting controversial. However, you did the right thing. You did, you done a good job. And uh, it's something you got to live with for the rest of your life. I get that. But don't feel bad. Because in life, there's different, difficult situations and difficult times that we live in. And... If you are not prepared to have a child, it's your right to not have that child, right? If you were just unprepared, because throughout time, religion has made it hard for women to get the pill, made it hard for women to get the morning after drug. Religion was the cause of all that bullshit. If you could have took the morning after drug, the morning after, well, you wouldn't have got had to have their pregnancy in the first place, 
but because it's so hard to get and so fucking nobody knows about it and fucking all this kind of bullshit, it's all because of the fucking church, the Catholic church mostly in the first fucking place. Whoa. The cocksuckers get the fuck out of our country, you stupid cunts. Yeah, he's getting and controversial. And that's not talking to the people that had the fucking abortions. That's talking about the religious people who fucking think they need to forgive anybody who had an abortion. If you want to hide yourself and, now, uh, it's getting too All you women, I would be your friend. Don't worry about yeah. that. I'll always be your friend. I'm the road. <laughs> oh, God. If you haven't got any, you got one Penny's here. the road now. So, there you go. That's what I have to say about that. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the road. Where I am? Uh, probably need, the camera m might need to drop a little bit more because someone just drove by. I'm a floating head. Yeah, well. Let's see. well. There, we go. there we go. Whoa! Oh, yeah. there, there, there. Go. Yeah. yeah. There. Hey, where'd I go? Whoa! Carl's by himself now. Um. Well, yeah. Now it's going to be a uh, self-help talk with Carl and Mr. Ginsu. Back. Yeah. He, uh, nobody wants to watch that program. Yeah. Um. Help talk with the Ginsu and Carl. Help talk with Ginsu and Carl. I would. Oh God. I, maybe I'm the only one. I don't know. That would be like almost combative after the I watch second that episode. Show. I want to watch that show. In the first season. <laughs> and then the third season, season we're swearing at uh, each one place. another. Because of her religion. Or third episode. And she says, under God. Now you got a flashlight. Authority is what oh, she's doing flashlight. He also had the, Hello, flashlight. God also had the authority to get crucified. Let's crucify that bitch. I don't, I don't even know how this came on. That's weird. Let's look at the thing. Right. Carl's got something to say. Spit it, Carl. No, oh, jeez. Yo, Carl, you got something to say? Let's see you spit it. Well, three, two, uh, two, yeah. one. Sure. Now it's info time. Um, you're watching your daily hour with me. It's our long time live calling television talk show that's recorded every day in Pierce County, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 days in only Pierce. But HWM began on September 19, 2010. It takes a week in advance. So if you're watching this on DCTV out, uh, channel 22, 11.30 p.m., this episode taped on the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m., this episode taped on the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384. Leave a message. We'll play your message on the next episode and call you back. Thank you. Did I say September 19th? September 19th. Okay, well, that's kind of unusual for me mentally, that only when I'm in the rhythm of the, <laughs> the script I that I, I would know that it's September 19th. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, sorry. What are you going to do? Uh, change my life, change my brain. Accept it and move on. Who knows? What are you moving on to? Wakey, wakey. What are you moving on to, Carl? Carl's accepting his life and moving on. <laughs> oh, he's, he's accepting. Are you doing what? Acceptance. How, how are you doing? Acceptance. Are you doing what? We're on TV. Acceptance. How are you? What is that word you're saying? Spell it. A C C E F T. <laughs> Yeah, it's accepting? Hard. Ac accepting. You're accepting your life? He's ex yes, yes. Oh, freak. Okay, I, I couldn't understand what the fuck he was saying, motherfucker. Spelling is hard. Yeah, well, fucking understanding is hard, too. How are you yeah. doing? Uh, what do you think about, uh, uh, what was it? Abortion? I don't. Gay marriage? Abortion. Gay marriage and abortion. 
Well, the Kim Harris thing, I really don't give a freak about, except for the, that one chick over there, Kentucky. She's saying she's not giving nobody no marriage licenses if you're gay. And I'm like, damn, let's go get married so that we can get some money for suing her. Mm -hmm. Right? Carl's going to do it. I can't oh, officiate yeah? anything like that. No, Carl's going to marry Mr. Ginsburg. Why is there somebody honking out there? I don't know. Um, but, yeah, that's not legal, right? I mean, she's supposed to be she's supposed to be giving out the licenses. It's national now. Yeah, she's supposed to be fucking coughing up the license, but she said she's doing it under the power of God, or with the authority of God. Yeah, but she and was, yeah. God, like I said, also had the authority to get crucified. She works for the state, though. So she also has hey. the authority to get crucified, just like God. Freddy, the producer is here. Yeah, yeah, the, she, this, this person works for the state, not for God. Yeah, that's bullshit. There's something going on out there? But, hey, she's a bullshit artist. I she's fucking have to give back all the money that they've given her over the last few see. years and, and yeah, uh, like for being a bullshit the artist. Move the camera where it is and then just stick it there. Yeah. And then everybody everybody who's ever not gotten a fucking a marriage license from her needs to sue her for a hundred thousand dollars oh, a piece. You need to a spider, I saw that. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, Although they said on the news that um, she probably go to jail or get some stiff fines for not doing it. Well, wouldn't she just get fired? They're gonna kick her out of Isn't there. Just gonna get fired. Soon. Huh? Why can't they? Why don't they just fire her? Well, that's neat, but you also got a sewer and stuff too. Really? Make her life miserable for fucking making other people's lives well, miserable. No, it's on you. With, um, because she's doing it with the authority of God, it was the same authority that he had whenever he, he got crucified. Yeah, I really, in a way, I think that's sad for her, though, because, she, you know, she she was... She's yeah, she's for, a dumbass. Well, she, she, she just needs a new job. Yeah, if that's her job, and then, and then she should have, like, the, her boss should have figured that out. Like, they should know that this woman, like, who this woman is, and that she wouldn't be for she's that. She's crazy. It's yeah, pretty funny that she's not even giving down there. She's not giving she's marriage licenses. Marriage licenses. But, but she's, she's not giving marriage licenses to like same or uh, you know opposite sex couples either. Oh yeah. Which is the craziest part? She said that she's doing that so that no one could say it's for discrimination or something. Oh uh -huh, yeah. But then she's just not <laughs> doing her. <laughs> she's not doing her job at all. So. I think that's the her boss's fault more than any anybody else. Yeah. Like, she should just get fired. Oh. Uh, it's a fucked up deal. She just needs to get sued. They need to throw her in jail and forget about her. Speaking yeah. of, Lawsuit. Did, did you talk? Have you already been talking about the Mr. Ginsu? Did you hear about the thing in Olympia where uh, two young black men got shot and like by yeah. the police? What the fuck? And then, well, now the the it's come out that they're not going to be charging the police officer and they're charging the uh, two young men with. Some sort of uh, maybe assault or like attempted theft or something like that. Attempted oh, the guys that attempted stole theft beer. Is, is is real though, right? I mean, yeah. I think they did attempt to th steal, but I think I was what I was saying about that earlier is maybe the you know since he's a police officer, he's kind of in another realm of prosecution. You can't. It's not just like a criminal prosecution. It's a completely different thing where he has to go through like the police system. Yeah. Like I mean, it's it's not. Yeah, that's you a fucked just up like a deal. Um, at the time, so you can't just put him through regular court. It's like, it's like different because like somebody handed him a gun and was like, <laughs> if you're you're doing this thing, this is your job, and it's kind of like not within the realm of regular law and prosecution, right? Yeah, like, you could be right there. You definitely, you know, it's like when military crimes happen, they don't put into military, you know, the regular court system, they've done it, like, military, military tribunal yeah, tri court. Yeah. I would assume there's something similar for police, but I'm not aware of it. Yeah, that's a fucked up deal they got going there. Um, logically, well, it kind of sucks that they fucking, I think in the end they were trying to fight the cop, and the cop didn't think he could take him two on one, and so he just shot him. Yeah. Now, at some point in there, you'd think after it's a one-on-one, -on -one, 
Now you should probably not shoot the second guy because second it's a one on one and can you really be afraid for your life on a one on one basis if you're the one holding the gun? Well not particularly. If you shoot one guy, I think the guy left is gonna be very mad. <laughs> I would think and he was the military uh, the guy that got shot is gonna be very mad when he's in heaven or hell. The military guy? And yeah, the yeah. cop was a military and policeman. The other first, guy so I think got shot second. Um, they both died or what? No, they're both alive. He's used oh, they're both alive. Well, the guy that got okay. shot second, he should sue for the guy fucking fucking him over because uh, he didn't deserve to get shot. I guess that's that's a good point. I want yeah. to hear a statement from them. I, I, I think I mean, it would be kind of silly to. Uh, Defend yourself against a police officer, but with a, a skateboard, knowing that uh, a gun is more powerful than the skateboard. Yeah, just because right. it doesn't mean. Um. Well, yeah. At that point, the cop should just say, "Hey, fuck, man, I'll shoot you if you don't fucking put the skateboard down, baby." <laughs> I mean, fuck. But, I don't even fucking know. That sounds pretty fucking cornhole to me. <laughs> It gets confusing up until the point of a two-on-one, well, the guy could be afraid for his life, so he shot one of them, but then now it's a one-on-one -on -one because he shot one of them, and so that changes everything. Yeah. Well, this is what police over-accountability, police oversight would solve, is whether or not the officer said, stop or I'll shoot, or Olympia police drop your skateboard or whatever. Yeah. Rather than, uh, I listened to the radio traffic and and the first instance of, of that is shots have been fired or shots fired or whatever. Mm. And I'm just like, well, the, the, the game has already been played out once the officer shoots his gun without, you know, giving any sort of warning at all because uh, a gun really is a lethal weapon. Oh, it sure fucking is. Yeah. They're, but they both, they both survived. I wonder what they're saying. They, they haven't put out yeah. a thing here. Well, I, I wonder if they have any gag order on them. On, on the boys or the men have any gag orders at all in order not to say anything about this did case. You, did you read the... the oh, you know they always do. They will yeah. never say anything unless Called they it, have yeah. to. Yeah. He's still protesting. Otherwise, they can, whatever they say mm -hmm. can be used against them in a court of law. Protest tomorrow, too. But he's, anyway, I don't know. It's a lot of it's, it's the it's the thing that I heard today that was the most news style. Yeah, news Freddy worthy. just got here, Mr. Ginsu. Hey, Mr. Ginsu, good to hear your voice. Right, right, good to hear your voice too, Freddy. How are you, how are you doing today, Freddy? Uh, I'm doing all right. Been been kind of just getting through, trying to sell this vehicle. Ended up um, having more luck by people walking by on the street, I guess. Uh-huh. And I was just sort of like, hey, you guys want to buy a van? Who wants a van? And uh, one person does, and maybe I might sell it to them tomorrow. So. so How much? Uh, I'm selling it for $500. 500 bucks? Tell them a bitch. I wish I had 500 bucks. Well, yeah, it's got a bad transmission, and I took the good tires off of it, too, so... I don't know. <laughs> 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 you like that, huh? Son of a bitch. I guess that's not as good a deal as I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, At this point, I just want to get, uh, it, get it out of here. I'm going to use this as the back Yeah, how much is it worth for scrap value, I wonder? I don't know. I, the scrap people... $300? The, scra <laughs> the, the scrap people... Um, do fifty dollars a ton, the one that I saw. So I think I would only get a hundred dollars. So I'm oh, to, I'm sure you know they'll turn it around for way more selling it to China. But um, that's good. Yeah, but you can sell it for five times as much as it's worth. So I can go for it. <laughs> is, is the engine at least run? Oh yeah, the engine runs. It's it's. A, it's been really reliable for me, uh, except for I let the uh, automatic transmission fluid run all the way out of it, and it started slipping. You know, it's like it won't. It kind of like has a hard time getting into the right gear. And you didn't even put water in it or nothing to see if that would work. 
I, I just hadn't checked it. I didn't check it. I didn't, just wasn't paying attention. You didn't put no corn oil in there or fucking... Corn oil? Wow. Uh, corn oil, canola. I mean, anything's better than fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can just see the, the uh, probably. my mechanic space. You put what in your engine? It's just molasses. <laughs> I don't know. I, anything's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you probably don't want to say it, Anything's better than nothing. I'd say, oh, my God. Um, what the fuck? Yeah, this fucker runs on air. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. We uh, filled it with air and fucking the uh, dirt'll do her. <laughs> what about the tapes? Oh, the tapes? Oh, the tapes are in my truck, which is out there. I was kind of oh, trying they're, to They're in the truck now, okay. They're in the truck, yeah. I keep trying to go to the medical marijuana place, but they aren't ready. They keep not, you know, they. I thought we were the ones holding up the whole process by uh -huh. just not bringing the tapes over there and setting stuff up, but they keep telling me they're not ready yet to get the stuff, so I'm actually taking a camping trip in the truck uh, this weekend, so if, if, uh, if I can't put them in the studio or in the weed store before then, I might just have to stack them in here temporarily. So. I think that's that's a good idea. Yeah, but you, right you know, if you go to Jiffy Lube, they can put fucking oil in your tranny and stuff. Yeah, too late for that. But I did do that actually. I went to Meineke and they filled up the transmission fluid, and the guy told me he said when he looked at my truck or my my van, he said, "Better not be going on any road trips with this thing." That was his. <laughs> that was his, his <laughs> advice. Oh, you're killing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, apparently we are. Oh gosh. Hard drive. Oh, you're really killing me. For Ginsu. Have you tried this on like eBay or? On eBay Craigslist. No. Uh uh. They sell cars on eBay. I just I just did it on Craigslist for a little while. I did a thousand dollars, and that was probably asking too much. And I didn't really get any takers oh. except for one who seemed really sketchy. And I'm just tired of it, so I got an offer for paying five hundred dollars for it. So I'm just gonna do it, unless they don't Sweet. give me cash. Okay. Make sure you take cash, because you know they might. You know you could just go to the junkyard and get a transmission out of it from the junkyard. Yeah. Sometimes they have them already taken out. Sometimes you have to take them out yourself. But uh, you probably get it with tranny for that thing for one hundred fifty, two hundred bucks. Yeah, that's probably right. I, you know, I I could do that. I already have a new. I, I bought a new vehicle. If you don't have the time, well then fuck it. No, no I, I already bought a new vehicle. I bought a new. I bought a truck, a, a Toyota pickup, and I'm going to be putting all my time and effort and money and car stuff into that truck instead. So, I'm just getting rid of the van. Bye, van. There you go. You can buy a tranny for the new truck. Yeah, the the van was the last. Its last big selfless act was to take the whole studio and move it into this studio so um, yeah. next time that van when we move this studio we'll have to probably move it in the truck so is the couch going to fit in the, in the back of the truck I'll just take the canopy off and it'll fit it'll All fit right. anything yeah how's the uh, holy fuck how's the production going? amazing yeah, they're going to take that tranny out and take it apart and try to fix it, and all the parts are going to fall out. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. That's always... I can always take, them, take it apart to fix it, but putting it back together was always the hard part. It seemed like whenever I'd try to put stuff back together, I'd end up breaking other things, and it just never oh, was... Oh, fuck. I always end up with fucking extra nuts and bolts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have uh, the whole engine and I have all these pieces nightmare. left over. Extra pieces. <laughs> extra pieces. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because um, that last fucking, what was that? The water pump I helped that guy put in, uh, we never came up with no extra parts. But hey. uh, that was about the first thing I've ever done that I never came up with extra parts. Yeah, that's like rolling, getting a 100% completion on a, I don't know, video game. Video game yeah. 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 You Unreal. Did, you did it. You did it. Good job. How's the production end going? Production end is, yeah. is staying strong. I'm happy to say that we're capturing an episode over in the corner there as we tape it. Um, we've got the episodes already through the weekend scheduled on TV, and we've got the end of the weekend with YouTube, and we've got exporting YouTube files over at TCTV right now. So 
It's wow. going great. It's it feels good. Holy hell, that's a lot of bullshit. Yeah, I get I get this good feeling whenever the production end is working. I get sort of like this euphoria in life, and I just start feeling. I, it just feels better, and I think you about. Feel like you're good about yourself. Yeah, I just feel good about the world. Hey, shit. Better about the world. Like things are right and things are working. So that feels good. I love that feeling. Yeah. We're almost gonna be. Yeah, me too. On September nineteenth, we're gonna be. In, Finishing out our fifth year. Wow. We're gonna be moving into year that's a long time. six. Year six. That's that's pretty wild. We're gonna be the program's gonna be in first grade. We could probably Damn, leave. I haven't <laughs> killed nobody yet. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm amazed too, Mr. Tinsu. <laughs> Not directly, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, directly Good hopefully. Job. Good job. Is that how you measure oh, success? Oh sorry, sorry. I, I take that back. I didn't kill Dan once. Oh yeah, that's true. And every I single one of us actually. Personally, and everybody else died, but I brought them back to life. So, <laughs> so really, you brought more people back to life than you killed, right? I think it's kind of a wash. Yeah. yeah. You want a number? Uh, number two. Four. Four three. three one. one. Oh, we're yeah, in. I got 500 points. I got no Everything points. Everything but a two. Uh. Got a three. Carl's yeah. a two. You got 500 points also? Is that what that means? Yep. Oh, wait, is there a two in there? No, not a two in there. No. Yeah, one, uh, three, four. One, three, four. I got 500 points. Nice. <laughs> That's looking good. Right. I think I'm going to smoke some pot. All right. Are you going to? Hey, what's your method, Mr. Ginsu? Do you put it in? How do you do it? Oh, now I'm going to take a pop can and I'm going to poke some holes in it and fucking smoke it. You're, you're doing it? You're breaking your doctor's orders? You bet I'm going to. I told you I can already beat that test anyway, so fucking I said might as well just go with that and fuck the doctor. Have you already been doing that? No, but I'm just about to. For the first time in months or whatever? Yep. And what? so what, you think you're going to try to try to pull it over in your doctor? Yep. I'm, I'm not going to try. I'm going to. Uh, okay. Well, hopefully... Uh, he doesn't have a choice. Let, let us know how... Oh, we don't have any commercials anymore. You know that? What? No, Anything? no, no. We got one. Are there? Yeah, yeah. There's... there's. I, I gave some overlap. Oh, it's just said out. end. Did it really? Or something. Did it no, say the end? We'll take a look. We'll take a look. <laughs> well, it's only the second today, right? Yeah. I so I guess I'm going to have to start growing me another crop here. Yeah, why are you smoking out I of gave, a... I gave almost all my marijuana away. Why are you doing that out of an aluminum you threw can? threw it away? Uh, because it's easy. And Did you have like easy, a... You know, all I got to do is crush the can and throw the can away you and nobody freaking ever know it's a freaking pot. It was a pot pipe. You don't need a pipe? You need a pipe. And... Aww... Well, I didn't give I didn't give everything yeah, away because fucking my doctor did quit. But I still have a half an ounce left, and it's really good smelling weed, and I can still smell it. <laughs> God damn it! Um, so damn it. I'm at least gonna yes, fucking smoke a gram of some. Uh, hey, let's look at, at let's rewind this tape. Look at a couple commercials from the past. Oh man! Like the one. Yeah, the rewind the here. Give last, me that we could we could stop. I could I could commercial. get I could get you one. Huh. I could get you one. You want a right commercial? Now. I can get a commercial. I just have to stop the tape here. I can get oh, a commercial this? going. Oh, this is a commercial from before. Okay, yeah, get the commercial quick. Watch the really old commercial. Don't Wait, we're about out. to move to the new studio. I just want to. I don't want us to oh. miss a commercial. All right, all right, sure. Let's get. Yeah, I'm gonna get us a commercial here. All right, Sweet. Right, all right, let's go. Let him go get the commercial, and then right. we'll be, he'll be right back. The producer is here to save the commercial. Give me that tape. Yeah. Um. You see, uh, you see anything on the streets, Mr. Gins? You ever go back to that convenience store where you had that little tuffle with that woman? Yes. Hell no. You just never went back? Why not? Although, we dr I drove by there with somebody that I met, and he said he was going to pull in there. I'm like, fuck that. Don't go in there. Fuck <laughs> it. Did you end the capture, huh? I hate that bitch. She's fucking we're gonna tight. Just get it, pull it off the table. And and like I don't ever want to go in there ever. So, fucking, he drove right on by. Uh huh. I told him my story, and he said, whoa, what a bitch. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I said, fuck, don't go in there. The they don't need your business. 
you go to take your business to one of them other places, right? And he's like, yep, yep, I'll take my business over So, um, but on the street, I have seen... We lost our logo, traffic. too. I've I seen people at Walmart, and they was, like, holding signs up that says, I'm broke, give me money. And stuff. Is the, is the program over? Is, is the program's the, not over. Is the program over? I think the program might be over. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Yay! Uh, bye! Bye! Program not over. Wait, play the final dice game? Is, I did it. Yeah, you ain't even done the final dice oh, game, yeah, and Freddy's yeah. going to get a commercial, so fucking the program ain't over until the fucking program's over. Well, where's the. You're just getting confused. Yeah, just roll it, just roll it, and then we'll just say, or, oh, we, oh, can we roll this thing? Yeah, roll it. Roll them. Roll the ending. Roll them. Um, right, we can do that, so. I always wanted to say that. Uh, we got, uh, one, three, four, four, five, and two. So, I have a two, so, I, I kind of won, but I think Forbes really took it. Force really took over. it with with two dice. Sure. Let's fight for it instead. Well, that's the ending. That's Even the if the team didn't take it, let's well, fight for it. Let's fight him for it anyway. Um, alright, here we go, I guess. Episode number and date day of the week. I'm not sure what's going on right now. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, TV channel 22. Holy shit. Right yeah. Holy oh, shit, motherfucker. Like at the end of that movie, Powder. Oh, wow. Yeah. And Carl turn, coughs, sneezes, and farts at the same and time and turns inside out. Carl actually dropped the fan. Yeah, that actually did happen. He did drop the fan. That other shit I made out. Carl almost killed his Thank you. 20 minutes. Message, you can be on TV. Or don't leave a message, nobody cares.